Okay, now we're going to be studying commercial law. Um, this is in the civil code and uh, the first thing we're going to look at is what is an entrepreneur because the, the law in Italy states uh, exactly what who is a, an entrepreneur, what his or her characteristics are, and how we can identify him or her, because uh, that person needs to be disciplined by law, uh, needs to follow certain legal prescriptions. Uh, so, first of all, we're going to understand who it is. In England, commercial law is common law. So it's a bit different. Um, the judges create the law, the jurisprudence, um, the, the precedence is created by the judges and then the law kind of evolves from different situations. But in Italy, it's all written down. So the first thing is to study uh, what is an entrepreneur. It's important, remember, the entrepreneur is the main protagonist of the economic system. It's the entrepreneur which really organises the factors of production, be it whether they're uh, capital or raw materials or labour, whatever. He or she is the one who sees the opportunity and then takes these factors of production, organises them at their risk uh, to produce, to try to fulfil this opportunity. So uh, it's important to know who is uh, the entrepreneur. And it follows very closely the, the economic definition of an entrepreneur. So we've got Article 2082 in the Code, the Civil Code, <coughs> because the, the Commercial Code is, the Commercial Law is uh, the, the, the Civil Law, uh, is part of it. And it says, E ondre imprenditore, chi è sorgito professionalmente una attività economica organizzata al fine della produzione o dello scambio di beni o di servizi. If we look more closely at the fundamental elements of this, we can see the first part, an entrepreneur is someone who carries out professionally. Now that word professionally is very important here because um, if I buy a car because I see an opportunity to buy a car, make some money by doing it up, repairing it or whatever, and I sell it for a profit, if I do it once, I'm not an entrepreneur. It has to be professionally, so it has to be a bit established, a bit uh, stable, regular, a, a kind of repeated behaviour over time, so it, it becomes professional. So it's not just uh, somebody who does an opportunity, but somebody who does it professionally. Then you've got an economic activity, questo attività economica. It's got to be economical which means the costs must be covered by the income. So if you have the intention to cover the costs by the income with your uh, income, then you can call yourself an entrepreneur. If, for example, uh, you're, you're not planning, you're not intending that, you're intending to make a loss, that's not an entrepreneur, that's a charity. If, if you're doing it for some altruistic reason, um, you're not actually doing the role of the entrepreneur, which is the creation of wealth. It can be a balanced budget. 
it can be that the costs are the same as the income and there's a balance in the budget. But it can't be the intention of the loss. Of a loss. Uh, we, obviously, some entrepreneurs do make a loss. Uh, but what defines an entrepreneur is the intention of making a profit, even if you make a loss. If the intention was to make a profit or have a balance of the budget, then we can define you as a, an entrepreneur. Um, some associations or foundations only have a, a balance in the budget as, as an intention. Their, their, their purpose is uh, some cause or some altruistic reason, uh, but they're not intending to be a charity, so they, they, they intend to balance the budget. That's okay, that can be defined as an entrepreneur. It says it's organised to produce or exchange goods or services in this definition. So we're talking about wealth creation. We're talking about the process of creating uh, wealth. And uh, also distribution. So we've got exchange there too. So distribution of the circulation, they can be... Uh, involved in the distribution of circulation because it's not that they have to produce goods only they they also could for example be involved in um, buying and selling in you know buying in a big quantity and selling in smaller quantities to shops maybe they buy from a factory in a huge quantity and sell to shops in a smaller quantity and in that way, um, they're part of the process of distributing uh, the goods. So exchange can be part of their role. This also is wealth creation. Um, it adds value if you, if you divide a huge quantity into smaller quantities, you can ask more for the smaller, smaller quantities. So it adds value. It creates wealth. <coughs> Someone who produces for themselves is not an entrepreneur. For example, here we see someone painting an apartment. They're producing something. They're adding value. They're creating value, wealth. But it's for themselves. So it's not an entrepreneur. Obviously, if a company is involved, for example, in uh, capturing the energy of the sun with solar panels and they're using it to produce goods and then to take them to the market. So they, they're taking this energy, producing this energy uh, for their own purposes, but it's ultimately uh, for, to be taken to the market then we can say they are an entrepreneur and it is part of the process of production for the market. So we can consider that entrepreneurial. But somebody who just wants to paint their apartment or repair their car to improve their life is not an entrepreneur. It must be intended for the market. Okay, it's not necessary, as I said, this, this uh, profit motive, this, this intention of profit isn't necessary. If it's just a bad, balanced budget, that's okay. That can be entrepreneurial. Um, the exclusive creator of intellectual property isn't an entrepreneur. We do actually have from the European Union, uh, one uh, ruling in their court that a group of intellectual, uh, intellectual property creators uh, were classed as entrepreneurs because they had unfair competition with, uh, in, in, in the market. Uh, but in Italy, at the moment, the law is 
that the creator of intellectual property isn't an entrepreneur. It's not an entrepreneurial activity. So we can think of uh, creators of intellectual property, maybe um, translators or engineers or, or you know, um, doctors, you know, people who deal with the intellect. Um, that doesn't make them not entrepreneur. They may be an autonomous worker, um, self-employed, we call it in England, but they're not entrepreneurial.